Hey there, so guess what? This is actually hemp. So it's it's called hemp wood and it's it's like actual like this hemp fiber or hemp plant, uh, like the whole thing uh, pressed together uh, to, to the solid material and they press it and glue it together and call it hemp wood. And when I first heard of it uh, I thought <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's perfect for my guitars and I, I have to try it out. And uh, so I ordered some and yeah, I'm attempting now to build a guitar out of it. So I'm making the uh, neck, so the back side, front side is still maple. And I also made this uh, frame, frame out of it. And for the uh, body I also did the... Uh, some port bindings out of the hemp wood and the upper transverse brace also hemp wood. So uh, the idea is here to create a guitar that's uh, yeah mostly mostly made out of hemp. So as you might know, my uh, bodies here they are made out of a material called hemp stone, and hemp stone is the hemp fibers. So only only the fibers like on the outside of the uh, hemp plant uh, they, they are grinded and moved down to a very fine degree and then mixed with water and uh, it gets like these, these bodies uh, I got a video on it uh, if you are interested and uh, so I thought it would be perfect uh, combination the hemp wood and the hemp stone also I'm gonna use uh, the fretboard out of solo wood so it's uh, kind of idea to create a guitar made out of these uh, alternative materials and the main idea is to to make it for the um, holy grail guitar show which i'm gonna participate and uh, it's probably not gonna be uh, next month <laughs> but uh, yeah when it's gonna be and uh, they have this uh, local wood challenge and uh, the idea of the local wood challenge is to create a guitar using alternative materials or like local materials uh, so you don't use like the tropical woods when you are from Germany when you are from Brazil you are allowed to use Brazilian rosewood but uh, for me it's like uh, always a challenge to kind of make these guitars out of uh, renewable and um, yeah sustainable and also like uh, nice looking and uh, good sounding materials that are from, from the area here or like local and uh, yeah, it's it's quite uh, quite hard to find a uh, lot of materials. So for the neck, I'm basically always uh, using like maple or roast maple, and uh, it's always great to have some alternatives to to work around with. Yeah, so the uh, I really really like the idea of the uh, of hemp wood. So you make like a hemp out of wood, and uh, it's also uh, quite obvious that it's quite quite good for the environment. It's very low uh, carbon footprint, uh, negative, and yeah, it's it grows much far faster than, than wood, and uh, yeah, the whole environmental uh, impact. It's it's like really really nice, and uh, I think it's also a good thing um, to 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 use these kind of materials uh, if they are available. And uh, so the hemp wood is quite quite fresh on the market. So they just started the production, and yeah, so I, I'm, I'm quite early on this, and I uh, yeah, hope that to be like uh, really, really uh, good material for guitars. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the material itself. So if you're interested uh, in working with it, and uh, yeah, my experience uh, concerning guitars. So the wood came like in this. Huge, huge blocks, and they are like 14 by 14 uh, centimeters, and a meter and 20 centimeters, uh, 1.2 uh, meters long, and uh, yeah, it's kind of the surface. Uh, it's a little bit uh, dark. Maybe they use some heat as well, and uh, to press it together. And yeah, the first problem I had with the material, uh, 
when it came, the package was ripped open, like some holes in it. Maybe they checked at the customs uh, what it is, and uh, yeah. And the uh, result of that was that the um, whole thing was uh, kind of moist or even wet, and yeah, it kind of smelled a little bit. And I had to had to let it dry for a couple of days, and. Also on the edges it kind of got some damage, so uh, one thing that I was negatively surprised is that I uh, kind of had to, on the ends, I had to cut away a lot of material. So that's from the first first piece, and as you might see, so they, they press it together like this, and on the beginning the plants are much bigger than that. Um, they have like very huge pieces of, of the of the uh, hemp plant, and when it gets more to the center, um, it's, it gets gets much finer, and the difference uh, of the material properties are quite different. So uh, first you can see a lot of pores here, and uh, kind of yeah, it doesn't really stick together at well. It's kind of woody. And yeah, gets gets much better when it's um, more to the center. So uh, that's one thing. Uh, kind of have to cut out uh, like t 20 centimeters or something. And yeah, like on, on the beginning, it's it's like very very brittle, and yeah, can kind of tear it apart like that. And uh, yeah, but that's like uh, the main problem with the material. So this is like from very much to the middle where, where the, it's, it's like the best quality and it's still yeah, not very stable uh, in that direction. Uh, so it's, it's like in a quarter zone direction, it's, it, it breaks. And um, so I wanted to make uh, this frame uh, in a quarter zone fashion and uh, yeah. <laughs> That, that didn't work, so I make it now uh, flat on and uh, yeah, that worked out quite well. Uh, no problems of uh, uh, tears or breaking or anything. And, and it, it works quite well in that direction as well. Only thing is that, um, yeah, this way you got a little bit more pores, maybe you can see it. Yeah, um, so I'll have to do some pore filling there. Also on the uh, neck, I had like several like tears and cracks, and also on the top here, some some cracks. I had to glue it back together, and that's like my main concern uh, that it will kind of withstand the pull of the strings and won't uh, crack again. And uh, so this is kind of a yeah test test guitar. I'm gonna build here, and uh, let's see if it's if it's gonna work out, and uh, how it's gonna sound. Because the material itself, yeah, it's it's not. I wouldn't consider it a tone wood. <laughs> like when you look at it, it's it's quite quite dull and quite yeah yeah. So sounds like a little bit cardboard, but uh, yeah, I I think it's it's not. Like the, the, the sound of the wood isn't that important, I think. The, the only thing that's important sound wise is the top. So I'm using uh, spruce for the top, top, of course. And yeah, it will be kind of interesting to see uh, what impact it has to, to use like a wood or like this hemp wood that sounds uh, that bad <laughs> on, the, on the overall guitar. Uh, if it um, maybe gets a decent, decent uh, even a great guitar, maybe it's good. I don't know. I think, uh, yeah, I think it, it will work out quite well. It will be quite interesting to see. And yeah, so the material itself, uh, I really, really love the idea of the material. And uh, so I, I want to support it and uh, yeah, I needed to make a guitar of it, so I have like a guitar that's, that's almost com completely made out of hemp, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's like really cool. And uh, yeah, but the material itself got some problems. I don't know if I'm gonna build uh, many more guitars, maybe one more, 
let's see how this is gonna work out and uh, but if, if you want uh, about the material and you want to try it out it's not very expensive so like this huge block was like 140 bucks I think and uh, it's, it's much more expensive uh, much more um, affordable than like uh, regular tone wood so in that regard uh, uh, give it a shot and uh, maybe some furniture or something else uh, might be much more suited for, for the material and yeah also love how it looks uh, yeah, it's it's really looks really nice and so uh, if you're interested uh, how this goes uh, I'm gonna make uh, maybe another video on uh, how to work with it and uh, yeah, the final result of the guitar. It's gonna be finished in a couple of days, and let's see how it's gonna uh, work out in the end. And yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time.